despite all the jokes that we heard about coming to Lafayette, we have thoroughly enjoyed our stay in this lovely little town in Louisiana. Hey, those guys in red down there aren't joking. Southwestern Louisiana wearing white pants for the first time. They usually wear red on red in the kickoff. Richie Cunningham boots it deep into the end zone. Alabama will take over on the 20. Alabama sets up. Gary Hollingsworth comes to the line. Kevin Turner, Derek Lassick behind it. It's Lassick going to the right. Gains about four yards. Brought down by William Sims, number 36. And the secondary, Van Ray Alexander leads the Raging Cajuns in tackles. And Martin Houston gets the handoff up the middle and gets the first down. Second and ten. There's the counter draw to Kevin Turner who gets free and gets knocked out of bounds at about the 49-yard line. Nice pickup and a great play. Gain of 16. Kevin Turner, a pickup of 16. Gary Hollingsworth, first and 10 from the 49, and there's that man Turner again pulling his way close to another first down. He might have gotten it. It's going to be close. A gain of 9. Big play. Third down and 15 from the 44. From the shotgun, Gary Hollingsworth. Has a man wide open. Donnie Finkley catches it down to the 23-yard line. First down, Crimson Tide. Lamont Russell left, Donnie Finkley right. Bootland. Wide open, Steve Buskey, the big 6'6 tight end, gets down to the one-yard line. Nifty play, nifty play. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. He has 40 tackles in four games. You said in your uh, all-conference seasons, the most you ever had was 39 for a season. Here's Hollingsworth. Looking to pass, wide open is Steve Buskey. Buskey, the touchdown for the Tide. 8.05 on the clock, and Alabama goes up 6-0. That was an impressive drive. So here comes southwestern Louisiana. James Freeman in the run and shoot. Looks to pass and scramble. That's what the run and shoot's all about. And he gets wide open, a big-time gain up to the 50-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. There you see uh, his passing statistics and uh, not a whole lot to brag about. 38 for 86. But he's back to pass this time and finds a wide open receiver. Number 82 is Quint McCollum. Second down and three. 5.53 to go here in the first quarter. James Freeman brings his team to the line. And he's back to pass again in the run and shoot. And he has an open receiver but overthrew him and a flag is down. Looks like Mark McMillian is going to be called for an, some form of interference. Right before the second game of the season, had to go to the hospital for a couple of days. And that's what they described it as, a stress seizure. Just too much pressure on the young man. But he's back and playing well now. Uh, nearly intercepted. It is intercepted. McMillian gets the tip from Derek Orton, and he might go down to the 47-yard line. For a moment, it looked like he would break three farther. A 35-yard return for Mark McMillian. Third and one, it's Lassick. No, Martin Houston for the first down, brought down by Van Ray Alexander. Ricky, you must love this guy, Van Ray. <laughs> Back to pass goes Gary, setting up the screen, and he overthrows Derek Lassick. And a penalty, late hit. Third and four from the 14. Hollingsworth back to pass. And it's in and out of the hands of Kevin Turner. That'll stop the clock. 1.16 to go here in the first quarter. The 32-yard field goal attempt by Philip Doyle. Missed only once this year, 7 of 8. Doyle puts it up, and it is good. Alabama goes up 10-0, a minute 10 to play here in the first quarter. So far, two drives have resulted in two scores for the tie. The Cajuns in those vermilion jerseys come to the line. Freeman back to pass. He's a scrambler. And he gets brought down by Eric Curry and a host of others. Big loss. And back to punt now, Kim Abair. No relation to Bobby Abair. We've been told Abair is about as common as the name Smith and Jones here in the state of Louisiana. Abair. Only averaging about 34 yards of punt, and it's another short punt taken by Jeff Mitchell. Nice grab and a nice little run back. Mike, thank you. Second and 10, 14-14 on the clock. 
from the 37-yard line. Buskey in motion, handoff up front, and he breaks free. That's Junior Sewell, I do believe. He scored twice against Vandy. He's brought down at the 8-yard line. There's a good shot of Jeff Wall, the little fellow who does nothing but hold for extra points and field goals and does a terrific job. His dad, Pinky Wall, a longtime player for Alabama. Philip Doyle trying for his ninth field goal of the year, and uh, he makes it just barely. Knuckle through. It's good, though. Not sure what happened at that time. The ball barely cleared the, uh, the crossbar, but it's good. It's Wasn't pretty but effective. 22-yard field goal from Philip Doyle makes it 13-0 Alabama tough spot for a quarterback quick snap Chris Anderson the freshman goes up and gets hammered by Van Ray Alexander we'll say, say his name a bunch today a gain of five 11 tackles for Alexander of southwestern Louisiana Barger in the game replacing George Wilson the handoff third and short and it's a first down Kevin Turner bulls his way forward it's back to two, being too tight <laughs> Hollingsworth from the shotgun third and ten Gary pumps left, rolls right, and finds a wide open man for 18 yards. Hollingsworth did a nice job of scrambling out of trouble there. There's the play action fake. Cole. Lorenzo, another nice grab. Did he get it? Sure did. And it's Chris Anderson. Nifty move, steps out of trouble, grabs a first down. Going for the field goal, Philip Doyle trying for his third kick in the day. A 23-yarder for Philip Doyle. Wall with a hold. The kick is good, and Doyle gives Alabama a 16-0 lead. He proves to be a heck of a weapon. Ten seconds and counting. It looks like the Raging Cajuns will let this uh, kick down to double zero and go inside and talk about it. They're holding on give their defense some credit could be much worse there it is into the first half of play and Alabama leads the raging Cajuns on their home turf the swamp 16 to nothing Gene Stallings says that all the time the first five minutes of the third quarter the most important part of the game well people don't realize coach Brian learned a lot of that from Frank Thomas who learned it from Newt Rockney who learned it from Ronald Reagan is that uh, <laughs> Philip Doyle kicks off and slipped as he kicked it. It's a short kick fielded on the 12. Southwest Louisiana brings it up over the 30, the 37. It's Rodney Lloyd. And 15. Butler in motion. Freeman back to pass. Will he pass or will he run? Well, he wants to pass this time. And he finds an open receiver. Number 17, Charlie Foreman. Nice grab of... 18 yards. Freeman does have a gun on him. We'll give him that. Third and one. 13.30 on the clock. Freeman wants it himself, and he strains to try and get the first down. Did he get it? Alabama's defense digs in. Fourth and inches from the 47. Did he get it? I do believe he did. All's quiet here at Cajun Field. They want something to cheer about. And he throws it out of bounds. That is going to keep them, uh, well, actually, a few boos come out after that one. So it's fourth and long. They're going to kick it away. So Alabama will have to punt it away. Stan Moss, his second boot of the afternoon. It doesn't appear that Lamont Russell quite comfortable with the position changes he's been going through. Split in, back to tight end a little bit, out to split in. I don't think he's quite got his feet on the ground. Mal Moore told me before the game that Lamont also has a class schedule that's keeping him out of practice. So he's going through position changes and also missing some practice because of classes. Nice kick from Stan Moss, 44-yard boot into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20. Ricky, would you say this is a critical possession for the Cajuns? Taiwan Hayes in at quarterback. Ball's loose. Alabama might have recovered. There was a mess up on the exchange. Taiwan Hayes, the new quarterback, did fumble, and Alabama recovers. The tide takes over at the 21-yard line, 22-yard line. Philip Doyle from 32 yards, already three out of three, and make him four out of four. Doyle connects, seven for eight coming into the game. 
and now he's 11 for 12. Philip Doyle, a terrific year. He enjoys kicking him, but Alabama would like to get some touchdowns. Nevertheless, it's 19 to nothing. Gary Hollingsworth, first and 10 from the 33. 2.55 to play in the third quarter. Gary looks to complete a pass, and he does. They're going to count it. Yes, it's complete. Donnie Finkley, nice grab. Had it long enough, 17 yards. Second and six from the 47. Hand off to Martin Houston, who finds a big, gaping hole, and he breaks free. He could go all the way, but doesn't. Gets pulled down by, by William Sims at the 13. Third and nine. Philip Doyle is getting his leg limber, but he doesn't want to come on it unless it's an extra Blitz. point. The blitz works. Gary brought down by William Sims for a loss. Minus eight yards. William Sims. We're back. Philip Doyle trying for his fifth field goal of the day. Up and good. 22-0 Alabama. Doyle has now tied the Cajun field record with five in one football game. That was a, a comedy show right there. People were confused as can be. Again, kind of a slow start from the line, but Freeman connects with McCollum. He gets pushed out of bounds hard, which brings the crowd onto their feet. Yes, the crowd is still here. Gain of 14 yards. James Freeman first and 10 from the 32. We're inside 10 minutes to play. And Freeman finds McCollum again, who drops it. And McMillian gets nailed for the penalty. Unnecessary. Maybe he was blocked off and didn't see the ball, but uh, sure looked like... Uh, Pretty good call. Third and eight from the 49. 9.08 on the clock. James Freeman trying his best to get that zero off the scoreboard. There it is. Nice completion there to Charlie Foreman. His first grab of the day. Third and 20 from the 45. Freeman looking for a prayer. And it's answered, but uh, not enough. It was caught by Rodney Lloyd. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. A gain of 16. They needed 25. Big that, play. That's criminal. Hitting a poor lady on the sideline. Fourth down. James Freeman completes the pass to McCollum, and he wrestles his way, keeping him in bounds for a first down. Blitz. Freeman had an open receiver, and he gets... Tied up, penalty on Charles Gardner. Looked like a pretty good call from up here. First and goal from the four. Crowd is on their feet. Handoff. No fake handoff. Freeman scores. There goes the shutout. And the Cajuns are on the board, and the crowd is certainly raging right now. Here goes Freeman. He's got the play. They've talked it over. It's 22-6. The pitch left, they were talking about the option, and oh my, he gets nailed and stopped short by Ephraim Thomas. What a hit. Alabama continues to have their problems in the fourth quarter, being outscored 42-6 thus far this season. There it is, looks pretty good, but Alabama falls on it. Nice try. Thank you, Mike. The spread was 16 and a half for those of you who keep up with those things. Danny Woodson. Fumbles the ball out of bounds. So well, that's Danny's best fumble this year. <laughs> picked up a fumble. fumble. <laughs> Let's get it going forward for first down. Danny calling the play, third and two. Junior Sewell in there along with Chris Anderson. Danny's going to keep it himself and fall forward, and it's going to be close. It, it, it depends whether they get one of those marks that Southwest got a little while ago. Charlie Dare in at left tackle for Alabama. Second down and eight. Philip Doyle is getting the old leg warm. Chris Anderson scoots forward for a first down, or at least close to it. Second and nine from the 25. We're inside three and a half minutes. 22 to six the score. Martin Houston having a good ball game. Battles forward to the 12 yard line. 35 yard attempt for Philip Doyle. The hold by Jeff Wall. Good hold, good kick. He's done it again. The man of the hour, the tower of power, Philip Doyle, 25 to 6. Pat Dye and also uh, John Makovic, University of Illinois. Three busy fellas. And there's another completion. Freeman 
to McCollum. Gain of seven yards. You know, the gamblers in this world uh, who bet on Alabama, it was 16 and a half. So they were sweating it out until that final field goal. It's 25-6, Freeman. Whoa, great catch by Quinn McCollum. Nice grab. McCollum now has seven catches for 100 yards on the day. He's been busy. And he's pushed out of bounds by McMillian and tackled now. Rockwell and McMillian on the grab. Inside a minute, they're trying for another touchdown. And he's tackled right away by Mark McMillian. Quint McCollum, eight catches now for that young man. Second and three from the 19. Freeman just can't find anybody open. Good coverage by the secondary. Rolling right, James Freeman. Is there a man? Interception. Interception. Steve Webb brings it back to the seven-yard line. Steve Webb. Nice play by the big guy, eight-yard return. Derek was in Tuscaloosa. Steve was in Holt. They played high school ball against each other. There's a fumbled snap by Danny Woodson. 15 ticks, 14, 13, 12, 11. They're going to let it run. You see the clock in your lower right-hand corner. Can I cut the cake now? Please. I've been trying to cut the cake since the second quarter, but you guys wouldn't let me. <laughs> there it is. It's all over. The tie, 25, the Cajuns, 6. The spread was 16 and a half. The Tide beat the spread. Philip Doyle, the man of the hour, we said that before, with six field goals. Could have been worse. But when you get a win on the road before a fired-up crowd like this, you're going to take it.